So I'm passing through Sparta, Wisconsin. It's a little bit late in the day, and this came up on my map. It's a graveyard, but it's a different type of graveyard that I have ever visited. This is a fiberglass mold graveyard. Look at this. An absolute sea of fiberglass molds, animals, and boats, and slides, figures, mermaids, anything you can think of. This must have been, this is probably someone's pool slide. Can you imagine, imagine this? Growing up, oh, there's a rabbit right there. Hey, bunny. Look at this, probably all, yeah, I don't want to walk on it. <clears throat> it's rickety. It's not really meant to be walked on. All right, let's get down here into the thick of it. I don't have much time, so I definitely want to show you this stuff. I remember these are going to be kind of opposite than what you would expect because it's a mold. I think I found a Bob's Big Boy. Look at this. They got him all the way in the back here. I could be wrong, but if it's not, that's an absolute ripoff of uh, Bob's Big, Bo Big Boy, the uh, chain restaurant. <laughs> you know, I, I really, <laughs> I said this before, I think in another video, one of the coolest things about traveling like this is you really never know. I mean, some things are planned, but you really never know what you're going to see, what you're going to come across. And um, so when this came up, I said, oh, I definitely, this is right up my alley. I got to check this out. <laughs> this is pretty amazing. Yeah, it's just these crazy fiberglass molds. Snowmobile, and it's huge. Four-wheeler. Mm. Who knows what's it, what it's all for? Some strange stuff here. These are all animals. Horses, and they get bigger and bigger. You know, you have to kind of wonder... Why Why would uh, someone want this stuff? I mean, they all have a purpose, obviously. These companies have spent a lot of money having this stuff made. And who knows what it could be for. You know, restaurants or miniature golf. Look, this could make an interesting toilet. <laughs> Santa Clauses. Look at this, a giant, what is this, a piggy bank? That's what it looks like. It's definitely a pig. There you go. How cool would this be? A cactus? That's awesome. I could use one of these when I did my uh, shark video. The real life Jaws. Every once in a while there's one that's painted. Maybe it was a, a defect or something. You could see that fish there. Or mammal, whatever. Looks like a, a white bear. Look at the elephant way back there. I'll have to get back there. The gray elephant. It's one of those videos where it's like, uh, you know, not much information. Just a cool business. And they welcome people to... Uh, walk around and enjoy the sights, enjoy their graveyard. I wonder if they ever reuse them. You know, if one's been out here for years and years and an order comes in for, you know, like a clown or a shark or something and they say, oh, we have one. 
Hey Bill, we got an order for a big bull. Well, we got one out back. Here's the elephant. Wow, he's huge. She, whatever, it. Just interesting how they do it, I guess. It's just, you know, they make it in pieces and then they, um, it gets bolted together. I don't know what they do with that because then there's going to be a line there. So I wonder how they fix that or maybe they don't. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's a fiberglass mold. It's not going to be, not going to be perfect. Here you go. Take it in here. Look at this. You can't really see. Hang on. We'll brighten it up so you can see. Hang on a second. Oh, it's really hard to see in here. These look like they're really old. It looks like the start of the graveyard was was back here on the tree line. Kind of unrecognizable for the most part. They probably at some point realized that, you know, people would get a kick out of this and then they started uh you know, they they started displaying them, putting them up. Was this a big wolf or something? You know what I always wanted? A, a nice garden with a, uh, a giant moai. You know, with those big stone statues from uh, Easter Island? Big fiberglass moai. I saw them actually in, in Hawaii here and there. A couple, a couple restaurants had them. I haven't seen any here, but that, that would be cool. Look at that ice cream cone. For anybody who owns a pool, get yourself a giant rubber ducky or put that in your bathtub. It's probably about eight feet tall, giant rubber ducky. Some of these as they sit would be cool anyway. I mean, they're kind of they're kind of rough, but they kind of stick in in your garden or maybe in in the woods next to your house or something. It'd be a good conversation piece, that's for sure. Some big shoes to fill right there. <laughs> wow, what is it like this looks like uh, reminds me of Gulliver's Travels. Actually, this might be um one of those um, muffler men, those famous muffler men. You see a lot of these statues in the Midwest, especially in down south. Could be. Maybe their version of it or something. The skull's about four and a half feet tall. We all know this one, miniature version here. I think these are um, being worked on maybe, or maybe they're just, oh, these are probably the newest versions now. Who knows what they are? They seem to do a lot of slides and a lot of toys. So maybe they do stuff for, um, you know, kids playgrounds and things like that. Ooh, look at this. Oh, okay. So that's, it's just the fiberglass here. And then this is styrofoam. That's styrofoam right there. So this was a, looks like a snake head. 
I see. So they make the mold and then they just fill it with styrofoam. Still probably incredibly heavy, but. So maybe these are defects. Maybe it's just, it didn't come out right or, you know, they weren't happy with it or whatever. This seems like a very interesting business. You can see right here, they welcome people to come out. They got some, what's this, a boy in a rocket? Hmm. Some finished products that are out here. Comes out real nice, real smooth. No, no lines like I was talking about before. So they obviously have that figured out. This is really all that's out here. I wish I could show you more finished finished ones, but they're not out here. The water park capital of the world. Pretty cool. Reminds me of the snail in uh, The NeverEnding Story. That big snail. <laughs> All right, well, that's it. It's a quick tour of the uh, fast fiberglass company graveyard. Always interesting things, roadside attractions and just strange things that you find along the way. All right, hope you liked it. See you in the next video.